Hello and welcome to the Startup Energy Transition Tech Festival 2021. My name is Geraldine DeBastian, and I have the honor of guiding you through the program today of the fifth edition of the Set Tech Festival. We are broadcasting live from the beautiful Radiazis team in the heart of Berlin to all corners of the globe. And tonight, we are looking forward to welcoming a live audience for our award ceremony, where we will be announcing the winners of the five categories of the SET Awards 2021. Our five categories are clean energy generation, demand side innovation, energy distribution and storage, smart mobility and transportation, and the fifth category is quality energy access and the SDG 7. We hope you are going to stay tuned throughout the day and be with us tonight to find out which startups will be winning these five categories. All sessions in today's program are dedicated to the most pressing issue of our time, the climate crisis, and how we can fight it with the latest technologies and solutions for the energy transition. Of course, taking into account this year's theme, the circular economy, reduce, reuse, re-energize. We have a full day of keynotes, panel discussions, fireside chats, and of course, our finalist startup pitches for you today, which are going to feature the most innovative startups of 2021. We also have different workshops prepared for you and breakout sessions, which are going to be powered by Berlin Partner, GTAI, GIZ, the Smart Green Accelerator, and the German Energy Agency. And in addition, we have exhibition booths where you can meet our partners, but also the brilliant Set 100 startups. So you can find all these booths online, of course, and make sure you have some time to visit and check them out throughout the day. We really want to thank you for being part of today's celebration of the energy transition ecosystem. And we're thrilled that you're on board for the exciting journey that we have planned today. This journey, which really started five years ago when Andreas Kuhlmann took the initiative and came up with this project at the German Energy Agency. By identifying the value and the impact that innovative technology can have if applied appropriately, the startup energy transition global innovation platform was born. So please give a warm welcome with me for Andreas Kuhlmann, the CEO of the German Energy Agency. Welcome, Andreas. Hi. Good to see you, Jody. Really good to see you and great to be back on stage together with you. Yeah, wonderful, yeah. Andreas, it's the fifth year of the Set Tech Festival. Tell us a little bit about this year's motto, Reduce, Reuse, Re-Energize. Well, yeah, we thought it's just very fitting. I mean, we, we all know we have to reduce energy. We don't need that much energy for what we have to do in our life. So there's uh, certainly something to do. Reuse. We see an increasingly amount of options, technologies, also startups, who are working on recycling all the stuff we need for uh, our needs. Uh, and I think that's one of the big topics in this decade, certainly. Well, and yes, re-energize, of course. I mean, Corona isn't over. I know that. It depends from where you live, and we have an international audience here today. But we thought we have to re-energize a little bit after all these Zoom meetings and so on, digital meetings. Tonight we have an award uh, meeting with some real people around us. So re-energize uh, and get together, work on the future. That's the idea of it. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you for explaining that to us, Andreas. And I think very true to the motto, reuse and re-energize, we'd also like to introduce a third person who's going to be on stage with us throughout the day and this evening to help yes. guide us through the show, which is Ain the Machine. Welcome, Ain. Hi, Ain. Good to see you again. So reuse, because you already <laughs> shared the stage with us seven months ago, <laughs> and um, re-energize, because you're going to help us energize the audience throughout the day, especially when we feel we need a little bit of a break from all the food for thought that we'll be getting. Mm. So Ain the Machine is an artist and musician who produces special kind of music, because he uses everyday objects and sounds that are all around him to produce his music and his performances, and you can be a part of that today. So it's simply very easy. Andreas and I are going to demonstrate <laughs> for you. You can go to Instagram and find Ain the Machine there just by putting in Ain the Machine in Instagram. And then you can send him a little message. So just go to message and send a voice message. So we try that? Sure. OK, so I've opened the voice message, and let's speak into it. Maybe the motto, OK? Reduce. 
reuse. Re-energize. And let's party. Woo! <laughs> so and you can do the same here, of course, and he will make the best out of it. Exactly. So looking forward to hearing your sound bites worked into Aim the Machine songs. Thanks again for being with us. Andreas, now we've sort of set the stage, and maybe also <coughs> worth mentioning everything that you see on the stage is also reused, so part of the motto. So now we've set the scenes for everyone. I know you have some important words for our audience and also a special guest you want to introduce. So yeah, I'll leave the yeah. stage for you. Well, thank you very much, Geraldine. Well, I'm very, very happy uh, to be on this stage again. Fifth year, the fifth tech festival, a little anniversary for us. And I, I really remember when we started uh, this, this project, uh, many people thought, uh, well, I mean, that's a bit crazy, a global network of innovation, how could that work? Well, today I can proudly say that we have a huge network, and we consider it to be our set family and all the partners that we have on board. It's about your innovations, your visions. Uh, for this award, this year, we received, again, more than 500 applications from more than 90 countries all over the world. And along these five years, we received more than 2,300 applications from startups and um, from more than 100 uh, countries all around the world. And that is only possible because we have a huge partner network. We have great people working with us, uh, and some were already mentioned here. You will meet them on this tech festival. I'm very, very happy to have them on board because it's quite some work um, to organize all this procedure. And uh, well, so a very big thank you to all of the partners who make this project possible and this award and the whole thing which is behind it. I'm also very proud uh, about our jury. Yesterday we had a jury meeting again for picking the last um, winners of these five categories. We already had the finalists a couple of months before. And this is really an extraordinary uh, jury. And I can uh, tell you, they come from all over the world. They are really looking for innovation. They are really supporting innovation. They are investing in startups and um, innovation. And they are ready to help you because they consider themselves as being a bridge for you and your projects and your business models for the future. So get in contact with them. I think I'm very proud of them because it's very difficult to find the very best startups out of more than 500 applications. And we were working very hard to have a very good procedure to pick those startups out. Is it 100% fair? Maybe not, but maybe 95%. So uh, you can make your own judgment about this later on. But I could talk ages about our project, but I want to give you just a few sentences before I go and come to, to Angelo, our main partner here for this project. Well, this is an incredible time. We had this IPCC report a couple of months ago telling us in what kind of state this planet is at the moment, so there's certainly a lot of work to do. We have Glasgow COP coming up, very important conference. We have so many countries telling us they promise to go on climate neutrality by 2050, 2060. And we have so many innovations and startups. There's a lot of venture money available at the moment. I really see that governments are picking up speed on innovation. And I mean, they are looking on us because they know we have good ideas available. So it's good that we have you on board. It's time to accelerate innovation. And that is what this project is all about. But this project needs strong partners, and one of the best partners you can get on board is the World Energy Council. And uh, well, Angela, it's good to see you again. Uh, we were on the jury meeting uh, yesterday. You are a great partner because I think you, one can say you are the greatest global network of energy industry partners. And uh, so I, I think we achieved a lot by working together over the last five years. And uh, so, very warm welcome to you, and I give the mic back to you for a moment. Thank you, Andreas. Um, I'd like to reuse, uh, reduce, and re-energize. Re I like the re-energize. That's a great <laughs> that vibe for, this, um, for today. Um, so, dear colleagues, friends, and startups, and everyone joining us online today, um, a warm hello. Uh, together with our partners and dear friends at Dana, Andreas, and the team, I extend a warm welcome. And I'm the sixth Secretary General of the World Energy Council, which is 100 years old um, in a couple of years. And I'm really delighted that we can help 
the SET Award bring the best of the best onto the world stage. And I'm really thrilled that we've achieved with Dana this expansion to over 500 entries across 90 different countries. This is democratizing energy innovation in the real sense. Um, and as Andreas has said, to, in today's turbulent times of global energy transition, it's never been more important to deliver, to engage with human creativity in delivering these um, new energy solutions for billions of better lives and a healthy planet. And we've learned a lot as a community over the last hundred years. Uh, including from our failures. And I know that learning through failure is also a challenge with starting up something new. And the biggest lessons for us is to remember that energy transition isn't a destination, it's a process, and it always involves societal disruption and transformation, as well as technology innovation. And yesterday I was delighted to hear the, 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 on the jury to hear that many of our startups understand that the best widget doesn't guarantee scale, um, nor can technology alone deliver uh, a win for all of humanity in the race to zero. And that's why we stress humanizing energy is our imperative. And it's also the reason why in next year we will have um, Congress, the 25th World Energy Congress in St. Petersburg, in October 2022 on the theme of energy for humanity. And I am hoping that we will see the set 100 at the next World Energy Congress. So that's going to be my invitation to all of you after this event is to come and see us in St. Petersburg and showcase the achievements and celebrate the success of today's events and all the achievements we can make together as we innovate for greater harmony in people and planet, peace and prosperity. Thank you. Andreas, back to you. <laughs> well, thank you, Angela. Well, thank and thank you for mentioning this St. Petersburg thing, because I remember when we were in Dubai with uh, 80 out of the set 100 list, that was a great success, and we have a chance to get the same thing done with uh, this year's uh, set 100. Thank you very much for working so hard on, on, on this opportunity, because I really, that makes a difference here. Um, but Angela, what, what has been one of the, the best moments uh, of the set series so far for you? Well, I'm always, I always love being part of the jury. I learn as much from the other jurors as I do also from all the startups. All, every startup story makes me attend to something around energy transition I haven't been thinking about. So it's a rich learning op opportunity being on the journey. And of course, bringing the set to the 24th Abu Dhabi Congress yeah. has been a highlight. And I think the biggest highlight will be bringing the next set to the World Energy, the 25th World Energy Congress, which is the start of our 100th birthday party. And I can't think of a better thing to do than have this old and future at the same time at that Congress. So we're just jumping from one uh, um, climax to the next one. That's very good. Any final words for our pitching startups today, Angela? Yeah, I think three words of advice is, first of all, relax. You're already in the class of the best of the best. You've achieved a huge amount. The second bit is, as you had yesterday, show your passion. And the third is never forget to tell us the impact imperative. Yes. We're not interested in generating business. We're interested in really having energy for humanity for another century. That's a wonderful uh, last word from you. Thank you very much, Angela. That was London calling. Thank you very much. We see you around here and uh, all the best. Look forward to hearing about the winners. <laughs> okay. Bye. Geraldine. Thank you so much, Andreas. Thank you so much, Angela. Wonderful opening to today's show. And I'm looking forward to seeing you back here on stage for the closing. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day. I'll see you later. See Bye. you then. And uh, we're going to follow with another special guest who would also like to address a few words of welcome, Eva Kaili. She's a member of the e European Parliament and the Stowe Chair. Please, over to you, Eva. Hi everyone, my name is Eva Kaili. I'm chairing the Science and Technology panel of the European Parliament. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to share a few words with you at this uh, tech festival kickoff. Uh, since we have known for several years that transitioning towards cleaner forms of energy is no longer an option, but actually a requirement for our own future and that of our planet, with the pandemic uh, being a catalyst towards this direction. The question today is not whether we can, 
have a green transition, but how we can make it happen faster and more fair. We have plenty of technologies and emerging technologies at our service. And also I see we have a change of mentality uh, that uh, actually uh, leads us to a greener uh, future and everything that we now do has the green and the digital prism uh, through which we are trying to plan our future. Europe prides itself on uh, being one of the most advanced regions in the world and uh, having an ambitious roadmap to become the first climate neutral continent by 2050. The European Green Day for uh, those of you that have heard of it, is a new growth strategy for Europe and it implies rethinking our business models, uh, our consumption patterns and our political priorities. And also this means that all our resilience and recovery package will go through the green and digital transition. At the European Parliament, we also have begun uh, to work in this direction and uh, we have the Fit for 55 package that arrived and a legislative proposals that can ensure that we can stay on track to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% uh, in 2030. It's a stepping stone to our climate neutrality ambitions. Decarbonizing our energy supply is a major step uh, in this direction. And this is why improving our energy efficiency and increasing our renewable energy targets have a central role in this package, also because we saw the energy prices um, being unstable and the necessity to be more efficient and uh, to have also energy sovereignty as much as possible. However, it is uh, just as important to find ways to keep the value of our products and services for as long as possible in our economy. This requires innovative approaches uh, to manage our assets more efficiently in closed loops across all industrial sectors. I therefore warmly welcome the theme of uh, this tech festival. It's a circular economy, reduce, reuse, and re-energize. Because when we talk about the green transition, we also have to talk about the digital one as they give us these opportunities to accelerate the adoption of more sustainable business models and to innovate even further to think out of the box. In the past few years, we have seen an exponential increase in data generation, sharing and processing. And the fourth industrial revolution is blurring the alliance between the physical and digital worlds, which making actually real uh, a number of uh, possibilities that a few years ago sounded uh, like science fiction, not so long ago. I will give you an example. Artificial intelligence. It can already combine data that can be collected from satellites, from buildings, and in general IoT devices into a climate monitoring platform. For example, we can analyze uh, waste composition at scale to increase recycling rates. We can also, another example, we can also create digital twins of entire cities to simulate and test solutions to air pollution or traffic overload. We can furthermore um, help financial markets identify and price the climate risks of investments or of different national strategies. And we can help in the end consumers to recognize environmentally friendly alternatives to the products they buy to be sustainable by design, to be able to be reused um, and uh, several other ways of understanding how materials can be biodegradable or less harmful to the environment. These are um, the ones that I mentioned are mainly European use cases and they wouldn't have been possible without startups and innovators behind them. This is why we need also to grow startups and help the, the real uh, energy that powers our economy. At the European level, we have initiatives like Horizon Europe that they, I guess you all know of, the European Innovation Council, the EIT, especially the Climate Kick. Um, they are directing investments at several different levels like the startup, the growth scale um, and more mature um, innovations, but also in the research to be able to, um, to invest and, and keep our talent here at uh, promising breakthrough innovations that can contribute to a zero carbon economy. But the path does not end here. We need to ensure that these innovations mature and scale up. Otherwise, we will continue to see investments and talent to flow to other countries of the world. 
So I'm uh, particularly happy that I see um, uh, today in the Tech Festival a fantastic platform to engage startups, innovators, investors, policymakers, and the academia in the same goal, to harness the power of innovation for the energy transition. Um, I think that the pandemic showed us that also we have a physical distance, we are closer together into addressing the biggest challenges that have no borders. And so I would like also to thank the German Energy Agency, the World Energy Council, and the support of the, the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy for organizing uh, such an event. I think it's very important that they are involved in this change of mentality and mindsets. Last but not least, I want to congratulate warmly all the participants uh, for the fifth edition of the awards today, especially the 15 uh, finalists among which the 2021 20, uh, winners will be announced tonight. And um, I want to wish you to have a happy set tech festival to, to you um, and continue to innovate and think out of the box. And our responsibility will be to follow up and make sure we will invest properly and to your amazing ideas. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Eva, for outlining some of those themes that we'll be deep diving in our panels, discussions, and of course, our keynotes throughout the day. So thank you very much, Eva, for outlining those.